You ever get that feeling like we've already looked at something before? Well, we have, in a way, and we'll talk about that a little bit more as we have a look in this magical video at the Memory Lane, Charlie Brown's Christmas, and this is Lucy Van Pelt. Experiencing the sense of deja vu aside, let's first figure out how tall Lucy is, putting the tape measure right up to the top of her, stopping it right around there. She's probably about five inches. The Ultra Measuretron, however, has told us that she's 5.1, but it could have just been a case where I overshot her head a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that she's about five inches in height. Now that in centimeters, 13.1, about 13 centimeters in height. Now, if you haven't seen the other video, let me just start off by saying it is the exact same Lucy figure that came included with the deluxe box set. That box set included a Schroeder, a Lucy, and a pig pen. And I believe even the pig pen was released as a standalone figure, as well as Schroeder. So really, we're going to be covering off a lot of the single card uh, figures that are going to be essentially the same figure that came included with that set, right down to the fact there is one, there is two. She comes with the very same psychiatric help for five cents, the little tabletop there. All of the accessories that come included with the figure are all the same accessories that came included with the other figure. Case in point, it also comes with the two stools. Case in point, it also comes with the two hats. There's one, there's two. And it also comes with a little change, little coin can. I just don't know whereabouts I've put the other one right now. but So really, a lot of what you're seeing here is something we've already seen before. Just the sense that we're now getting it in a standalone single card release. It does beg the question, really. I guess the opportunity is there, and the reasoning why we're still having a look at this figure, is because you could have easily gotten the figures individually as they sold them all single carded, or you could have gotten yourself the deluxe set that would have come with the pig pen and would have come with the Schroeder and would have come with a few of the little snow terrain areas. Uh, just actually one thing that's interesting about this Lucy is that she didn't come with one of these stands. I guess for the cost of plastic, Playmantis probably just decided, you know what, we're, we're already including the psychiatric help stand. We don't really necessarily need to then spend the time and the money to incorporate also one of these as well, because we've already got a whole ton of them with the other figure releases. It then certainly begs the question as to whether I will have a look at the pig pen and the Schroeder, being again that they are the exact same figure that we've gotten with the deluxe, the three figure set. As you can see, Lucy is identical to one another. There's absolutely nothing different between the two. I kind of would have hoped, and another reasoning why we're having a look at this figure again on its own, is that because they released it as a three-figure set, and there's also the single card, kind of hope that the expression could have changed slightly. Enough of an advantage, if you will, for a collector to want to pick up both, because then they would have two variations of Lucy. And not necessarily implying that the body has to be different from one another. At the very least, maybe if one of the frowns on Lucy's face was instead changed to a different expression. Just something, again, to change out for the fact that you may now ultimately have two Lucys in your collection. We'll put this one over here, and we'll move this one over here. And just to show you that the psychiatric the psychiatric table is identical to one another even the assembly of it is identical to one another if I can actually pop this out now maybe I might not be able to the assembly basically just involves this part here snapping into place and it pegs into the back right there something now undoing can be a little bit more difficult doing so it's got some nice snow there on the on the bottom as well as at the corners of the table there you've got the doctor is reel in, <laughs> reel in, 
And uh, again, it's the exact same thing. There's nothing different between this one and this one right here. Something I did not necessarily cover was the fact that the stool I mentioned in the, the three-figure set, I thought initially was Lucy, and then final looks just reiterated the fact that it's not for Lucy, it's for whoever's, whoever wants to sit at the, uh, the outside of the table. So let's bring in, let's bring in Charlie Brown. Now, one thing though, unfortunately, you can't bend the legs enough to get them to sit on the stool, whatever stool it is, either this one or this one right here. The legs are designed in such a way that there's absolutely no way to bend the legs enough. This part of their, the jacket or shirt of Charlie Brown just doesn't have enough give forward to allow the legs to swivel any bit further forward than that. So when you are putting him, say for example, on the, the chair, you can't quite put him on there unless you had something supporting behind him. It just, there's absolutely no way to do that, which is a sh real shame because I would have loved at Christmas time to display Charlie Brown actually sitting on the stool and then putting one of the two Lucy's behind the one of the two psychiatric help tables and play out that scene that way. But unfortunately, you can't do that. It's a bit of a missed opportunity, but based on the limitations of the way that they've designed the figures, there's just no way around doing that. By the way, as well, I've still got this kind of oily slick that continues to come out of the pores of Charlie Brown. You can see like there's just this pool, there's a little bit of, uh, I guess, plastic residual that's starting to develop on Charlie Brown here. It's something I have to be a little bit more careful about because I don't certainly want to start leaving all these little prints all over this backdrop. So that's unfortunately one problem with these stools is that you can't have any of the characters really posed on them. I'll move that to the side. Again, with the can we've already had a look at. There's not really a whole lot to cover in the review for that. It can still attach into her hand. And you have to just make sure you've got the right hand, the proper hand. I think it's this hand right here. Yeah, it's this hand right here. Plug this into place. It isn't so much something that plugs in as it's just friction. It does stay in her hand, but it doesn't stay well enough that if you were to bang it and move it, it easily does fall out. It's got a nice coloring to it. I, for some strange reason, thought that in the special there was a five cents on the tin. I'd have to go back and look at it again, as Charlie Brown's Christmas has yet to be something that I've watched this year. Rest assured, though, it will be something I'll be checking out. But I think, I think again, there was something on the can. I may or may not be correct by that. So I'll probably, maybe, in the case, because now I have two Lucys, display one behind the psychiatric table, and then maybe display one just in a snowy scene with the rest of the Peanuts characters. She still, still has the problem, though, with the hat. Oh, the dreaded hat. The hat does not stay in place at all. There's nothing, nothing keeping it on her other than just resting and a whole lot of hoping, and a whole lot of hoping that you don't accidentally tip the head down because the hat's gonna slide right off. And just in case you are wondering, Yes, the hats are identical to one another. There is absolutely nothing different between the two. And they both have the same problem, sitting them on her head. Speaking of also, same similar problems. It's more or less to the design. I'm gonna move this one out of the way because we've already had a look at that one. I'm gonna move this one over as well. Uh, unfortunately, it's the same design problems that I'm having with a lot of these characters. Uh, memory Lane, the way that they've designed these um, she does have like swiveled legs, for example, and they have a little swiveling on the top there. You can kind of see how everything gets pegged into place here. To at least the credit of opening up the second one, even though I really didn't necessarily have to, the other Lucy had extremely loose legs. Not to the extent of Sally, but still something very, very loose. This Lucy didn't have or doesn't have that problem so far, so I might actually keep her out as the defaulted Lucy and maybe keep this one behind the table. The rest of her posability is the following. Uh, her head rotates all the way around. I know you've probably already seen all of this. The arms rotate back and forth. She has also a swiveling in the arm. It's sort of awkward. It doesn't really quite make sense the way that the elbows work. I would have personally just left the elbow joint off altogether. Uh, she does also have the swiveling in the hand. We've already done all this. This is the swiveling in the waist and the legs go forward and back. My one wish this holiday season sort of backtracks to a toy line that was released in 2004. This one right here. 
I wish that the snow bases, I know it would no, certainly not, it would eliminate the fact that you could put the figures anywhere on here, but I wish that there were pegs on here. At the very least, if you wanted to have them walking, because that's always something that you see in these Charlie Brown specials, them walking, if they had only put a peg anywhere, just pick a spot. This spot here, okay, this spot right here. If you had had a peg right there, you could have had Lucy somewhat walking. Her leg does move far enough back. Now the peg would have to be pretty long, mind you, but at the very least you could get her to look like she was actually walking, something that you can't quite pull off by having the figure simply just flat on a surface. But the only thing I would really say is something that they should have really worked on. They tease you for the fact that there is peg holes on the undersides of the feet, but really you can't do anything with them. Well, if I had only been visited by the ghost of things yet to come, I would have been able to travel ahead to the future and already see that I was slated to review the single card of Lucy Van Pelt and probably would have changed the events in the past, drastically altering the time stream and causing disastrous results. Either way, I may have not gone back and I may not have reviewed the deluxe set that came with also Schroeder and Pigpen because really, you're getting the exact same Lucy, you're getting the exact same accessories, there's nothing really different about it. Though the diligence of being a reviewer, I often do things that at times don't make much sense. Somebody screaming in the back of the audience is probably thinking, why did you review this already when you already had a look at the deluxe set that already had this same figure? Well, my mentality was, if you didn't have a chance to pick up the deluxe version and you only got the single carded Lucy, it was to show you that the same figure is packed two different ways. You're very welcome. Uh, it does beg the question though whether I will have a look still at Schroeder and I will have a look at Pigpen because really they are the same figures that we got in the deluxe version. Now if you do want to see the single card reviews of those figures, let me know down below in the comments section. Either way, if you guys were interested in picking these ones up for yourself, the beauty of the Memory Lane Charlie Brown figures is that they're fairly affordable. You can still go on eBay nowadays and probably find them for under $10 a piece. I think the deluxe version, for example, probably sent me back about $30, which worked out to be about $10 a figure. I created myself the same problem by having a look and picking up the exact same figure. I didn't realize it until after the fact. Lesson learned. Either way though, today we were having a look. This was the Memory Lane by Play Mantis. This was the Charlie Brown's Christmas. Lucy Van Pelt, same old, same old, sensing of deja vu. We already had a look at this figure before, but we were having a look at her yet again as the single card release also. Stay tuned, guys, because we're going to have a look at the rest of the Peanuts characters from the folks over at Play Mantis. If you wanted to again see the review of Schroeder and Pigpen, even though I've already technically had a look at them, let me know down below in the comments section. Also, if you're not too thrilled about Christmas, you're just not in that holiday season spirit, don't worry, there's also going to be non-Christmas related reviews on this channel as well. A little bit of something Christmassy, a little bit of non-Christmassy stuff, just to cater to everybody that's watching this stuff on this channel. And again, thank you for doing that. Make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below that will guarantee that when new videos are coming to this channel, you'll never miss out. And as always guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.